Cars pollute the environment. We all know that. But what if eating beef might be doing more harm to the planet than driving your car every day? Let's start with what we know. Cars emit carbon dioxide, one of the major greenhouse gases responsible for climate change. The transportation sector contributes around 14% of global greenhouse gas emissions. That's a lot, right? But here's the shocker. Livestock farming, especially cattle, produces more greenhouse gases than all the world's cars, planes, and trains combined. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, livestock contributes around 18% of global greenhouse gas emissions. That's even more than transportation. Cows release methane gas during digestion, a process called enteric fermentation. And methane is no joke. It's up to 86 times more potent than carbon dioxide over a 20-year period. That means it traps more heat and accelerates global warming faster. And it doesn't stop there. Producing beef uses massive amounts of water. It takes about 1,800 gallons of water to produce just one pound of beef. That's enough to fill more than 40 bathtubs. Plus, cows need food, and lots of it. Most of the grain grown globally doesn't feed people, but livestock. This requires tons of land, water, and fertilizers, adding more emissions and contributing to deforestation and habitat destruction. So while driving a fuel-efficient car is great, cutting down on beef even slightly can have a huge impact on your carbon footprint. Skipping one burger a week could make a bigger difference than you think. It doesn't mean you have to become vegan overnight. But small changes, like eating less red meat or choosing sustainable food options, can help slow down climate change. So, which hurts the planet more, cars or beef? Based on the numbers, beef takes the crown. Surprised? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more eye-opening facts.